Hey guys and welcome to season 2 of my VFL series. If you've watched season 1 then you would know that we played with Manchester City in the Premier League and we won the title in incredible fashion. Now after that title charge there was still a Champions League game to play and that one game was against Arsenal where we got knocked out and they eventually won the Champions League as well so credit to Arsenal, one of the strongest possible teams. I didn't want to do an episode on one game, it seemed pointless and the same kind of thing I had with the World Cup where Scotland ended up winning there were three games for the Benelux until we got knocked out one of the games I didn't play so I didn't have footage uh, the second game was a nil-nil and the only game once again that I could actually make a video on was a 4-3 loss so I decided to just tell you about it in this video not make an episode on just two games it seems pointless we're focusing on our club team for next season and it's Werther Bremen let's introduce you to our team in goal we have Josh Pro the highest profile goalkeeper on the site arguably the best in left back we've got our manager Just Blaze who brought this team together so thankful for him for doing this. Uh, Wacker is partnering up with Oli in centre-back. I don't know much about Wacker, but Oli is Liverpool centre-back from last season who actually beat us in the Liverpool City game. So fair play to him. He was solid. Uh, God damn it. In right back, I had a season with him at Everton. Connor Hobbs or Hobnob is the guy that I started my VFL career with in Lille. So I know him very well and I'm glad to have him in the team. John Priest is a La Liga CDM team of the season actually. So I'm expecting good things for him. Jay Good, England international, won all his games at the World World Cup didn't play the final when they unfortunately lost to Scotland. We've got Vince and Harry in the other attacking midfield roles, two good mates. We link up really well up front and I enjoy playing with all of them. I'm myself up front as the only striker in a 4-2-3-1 and hopefully we can do well this season. As you're seeing in the background there's some footage from friendlies and pre-season tournament we played. I didn't want to make a video on a pre-season tournament because it seems rather pointless but the aim with Werder Bremen, as opposed to Manchester City, is to enjoy our season. With Manchester City, it was very, very competitive. The only reason why we played together is because we wanted to win. And the enjoyment kind of took a step back when I was playing for City. I didn't necessarily enjoy it, but I don't regret playing for them because that Premier League title is, is a good way to end it, of course. Now, with this team, with Werder Bremen, we have a good group of guys that get along. And it's actually fun to play. I don't mind training with these lads for once in a while and they're just good people. I get along with them, I play clubs regularly with these guys, so hopefully this season is going to be a lot more fun. It's also in the Bundesliga. The Premier League is the most difficult league on, on PlayStation, at least in the VFL, and it's, it's the most competitive and it's people really can get nasty at times in the Premier League. It's, it's, you'd have to be part of it to understand what I'm talking about. But the Bundesliga is slightly easier. That being said, there is three teams that are going to challenge for that Bundesliga title, including ourselves. I really think we have a good chance of winning this title. More of a chance than I thought we had with City, and we ended up winning it with City. So uh, Werder Bremen will be up there in the top three, hopefully, as well as Bayern Munich, who won not only the Bundesliga last season, they won the, the German Cup and the Super Cup. So they won everything. They won the treble. They're going to be looking to uh, go back-to-back -back with league titles. And then Hertha Berlin, the third team, that is potentially going to challenge for the title. Some really good players in there. So it should be an interesting season. A three-horse race is what I'm expecting. My predictions for the Premier League season were kind of off. Uh, Liverpool ended up being in the top three, which I did not expect. Arsenal, who I backed to win that title in the Premier League, ended up fifth or sixth. They did redeem themselves with the FA Cup and the Champions League, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna predict anything. I'm just gonna enjoy the season, play the games, and make episodes on this. You can expect the first episode of this series with Bundesliga games and a cup game coming up next week, hopefully. I hope you're looking forward to that. If you do and you have enjoyed season one, then I'm I think you're gonna enjoy this season as well. It's gonna be a lot more fun. And I hope you're looking forward to it next week when we kick off the Bundesliga season. And that's about it for me. I'm going to keep it short and sweet, not ramble on for too long. This was just my announcement for the team I'm going to be playing with. I hope you think I made the right decision. And if anything, I'll see you all next week for the start of the Bundesliga season. And honestly, I can't wait. If you want to know more about the VFL, if you want to get involved yourself or watch some other uh, YouTubers do this, then there will be links in the description down below to other guys who are making series on the VFL. Or a link to the site as well if you want to get involved in competitive pro clubs. It's genuinely one of the best things I've been a part of the past few years. It's the pretty much the only reason, aside from YouTube, that I still turn my console on to play FIFA. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all later.